Okay, so what I want to talk about in this video is the B3s, um, what also known as internal relays. These are basically outputs, they act just like outputs, that do not tie to an actual terminal. Okay, so they act just like a regular output would, but they're not actually tied to any physical real world device. And these are extremely, extremely useful uh, little programming bugs because what they allow us to do is to really start to um, simplify the program for later on troubleshooting. And let me give you an example of where we could use a B3 right here. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a quick little start stop station in here that you guys uh, have seen me program in before multiple times. So I'll use a middle green button Okay, middle green push button, throw some memory around here, drop in uh, our memory, drop in a stop button, and then drop an output in here. So this will be I colon zero forward slash eight, enter. We'll just identify this for simplicity purposes as our stop. Well, maybe we'll do this. We'll make it our middle stop. Hit OK. And then we'll do our green pilot light again. Now, notice that I didn't get that pop-up screen because I put a I didn't put a forward slash, put a comma in there. That's a pretty easy mistake to make uh, when you start trying to type fast. All right, we hit OK. Drop this memory down. Now, as you guys know from previous videos, this is a very simple memory circuit. Now, another way to accomplish this same circuit is to do this, is to use what's called a B3, okay, or also known as the internal relay. So what we would do if you wanted to use a B3 is you would take this output, drop it down to here, and then you would put a new output over here, and you're going to type B3 colon zero um, forward slash zero and you start to address this just like an output but instead of putting an O in front you put a B3 and the B stands for binary and the 3 stands for what folder it's in and that's actually located right here that's B3 dash binary so we'll call this internal uh, relay and some people get really fancy they call it bits and things like that we'll make it simple we'll just call it our internal relay we have to do a couple of things now we need to change our memory here okay and then we need to copy this this input to this line so I come here and I, I hit the control button which you can't see but trust me I'm hitting the control button I grab the middle of the instruction and I drop it down and now this circuit will act just like the previous circuit and I'll prove that by downloading it and then you're probably asking the question well why would I do that and that's a legitimate question but there's some really practical reasons for this as far as simplifying circuits and things like that and I'll show you that here in a second so now what I want to do is I'm going to activate my start button here in a second as soon as I get over there and you're going to see how that B3 latches in. So okay so I come over here hit my middle button and the B3 latches in. Oops, I'm sorry, I, I programmed this to my red light, not my green pile light, I apologize. So I can go back and change that when I go offline. So my red light's on, I hit the stop button, it turns off. Hit this, turns off. I have a basic, simple memory circuit here using B3s, which is super important to use. Now again, we're coming back now full circle to the question of why the heck would I do this? Well, let's say that I wanted to program a circuit that had two start buttons and two stop buttons. Well, I could do that a couple of different ways. So I'm going to delete my B3s for right now. Okay. I'm going to bring this up here. I'm going to change this to red light, red pilot light, sorry. Okay. Hit OK. Drive that memory right over here. Now, if I wanted to put another start stop station in here, what I'd have to do is right click extend branch down, grab another input, and then 
identify another stop button and we'll use number or another start button I apologize we'll use number 13 here which is our right green push button okay now some people will say the memory always has to be at the bottom I don't disagree with that um, so I'll switch those two real quick just showing you guys some hints and tricks here and then we're going to use a different stop button I colon zero forward slash seven and this will be our left stop push button we're gonna hit OK now here's my start stop station that I have and if I go ahead and I download this go through the normal process the sequence come here what I can do now is I can start this pilot light from two different locations and stop it from two different locations okay so I hit the stop button hit the start over here hit the stop here and I can do that as long as my stop buttons deactivated any which way I need to okay so now that works totally fine but as you notice the computer your, your rung is starting to get a little cluttered and if I were to add other starts and other stops to it it would become very very cluttered and what can happen is especially if you like to have your computer screen zoomed in like me you can start to get this little goofy little ladder here which just confuses everybody including me I would like to simplify this circuit using the B3s and let me show you how I'm gonna do that so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add another rung and I'm gonna drag my my second start button down to here and drop memory around it I'm gonna bring this memory back up here basically getting rid of that third branch there I'm gonna grab my second stop button drag it down here then I'm gonna put an output on here and this is gonna be my B3 so B3 0 and I'm gonna make this one so I'm gonna make this um, my and you can name it anything you want but this will be my um, second station okay hit OK there now I need memory around this from my B3 again it acts just like an output so this will work perfect um, then I need to add another rung down here drag my output down to here okay now I need to add another B3 in here and I'm and I seem to be taking a couple of goofy steps here and you'll see why I'm doing it this way here in a second so I'll go back to I'll, I'll start a new B3 I'll call it uh, I'll identify it as two and this will be first station okay and I could put internal relay I could put bit there totally depends then I need to change this memory always do this if you ever change this output you always have to change that memory associated with it it is such a common mistake an easy one to make you can't blame anybody for making that mistake so now what I have are two rungs I have two start station rungs that are activating to be to be two different b3s so basically what I'm saying is this light is going to be true if this one is on or this light is going to be true if this one is on and now that's an or statement so it's this or that so anytime you have a pure or statement what you're going to do is just create a little parallel system here I'm going to drop this down now you can see I can't see all this in one page so I'm going to I'm going to uh, minimize my screen a little bit so zoom out so I'm going to drag this one down to here and this one down to here okay and in here what you're seeing is let me zoom out one more time there we go what you're seeing is this is going to operate exactly like the last video that I showed you with the exception it's going to be a lot easier to understand and I can show I can see exactly which station is being used so I'm going to come over here download All right. come over to my control panel and hit my middle green light lights up I hit my stop button turns off now I come over here hit this start button hit my time my stop button that's associated with it turns it off and you can kind of see how both of those are working sorry I didn't realize I was zoomed out there so zoom back zoom out again sorry zoomed in hit the start button hit the stop button okay hit the start button hit the stop button 
And that's basically how that works. So you can use your B3 to help separate out exactly what's happening, both stop buttons to stop it. Now, um, some people will say, yes, but if I hit the middle green, I can't stop it with this. That's correct, but we're talking about two different stations here, two completely different stations that are set apart from each other, and you can easily do that if you needed to. You could just simply add in the two stop buttons to each rung just by copying it, but in here I'm just trying to show you where we might use an B3 to help simplify what could be known as, what could become a pretty complex circuit if I start adding different logic scenarios to this.